So this is a sketch. And this is a watch. And this is a D1 Milano sketch. And it just messes with my head. <laughs> So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Simon, and I mostly talk about watches. And I wanted to show you something today that was recently sent into the channel by D1 Milano. It's called The Sketch, and it's pretty obvious why. This thing basically looks like it's been drawn by hand and cut out of paper. And it feels like it too. The case and the bracelet are moulded from a polymer, so it's ridiculously light with around five links removed for my skinny wrists, which are just under six and a half inches, it weighs just 45 grams. And that's another thing that messes with your head, because while it's ridiculously light, it doesn't feel flimsy or cheap. From pictures I'd seen when this was released, I thought that the case and bracelet would be that brittle, slightly shiny plastic, a bit like Lego, with rough edges to the mouldings. But whatever polymer they've used, it feels smooth and has this almost rubberized texture and matte finish. It's available in two monochromatic versions. There's this white version with black accents, or there's a black one that's the complete opposite. The case is 40.5 millimeters, and I measure the lug to lug distance as 47 millimeters. So it wears really well, even on smaller wrists like mine. The case back is of course stainless steel, with this engraving of a pencil drawing a line, and it's secured by four screws. You've also got a rather nice stainless steel butterfly clasp, which is all milled, and I've seen worse on watches that are three times the price of this. The dial is pretty simple, of course it's just a three-hand time-only watch, with the Seiko VJ21 quartz movement powering it, so that seconds hand ticks around the dial. Like everything else, the indices look like they've been drawn on, and other than perhaps the hands, I really don't think that there's a straight line on this thing. The crown is a simple push-pull, and the water resistance rating is just 50 metres which in my mind basically means splash proof. So I certainly wouldn't be submerging this one. But hey, the Omega Speedmaster only has 50 meters of water resistance, and that'll cost you 50 times the price of one of these. Speaking of the price, if you're here in the UK, the price on the D1 Milano website is £149.50, which is around $180. But good luck in getting one because each time they come back into stock, they just seem to be sold out in minutes. But I am told that more stock is coming through every couple of months, and you can register on the D1 Milano website to be notified when more are available. But would I spend £150 of my own money on one of these? Well, the truthful answer is yes, because you see, I'd already signed up on the D1 Milano website, to be notified when more stock became available. I love quirky watches, and I was really keen to get hands-on with this one and to review it on the channel. But I missed out on the last drop by a matter of minutes, and so I figured that the only way that I was going to be able to jump the queue was if I reached out to the brand. I'm just a sucker for fun, quirky watches, and that's exactly what this is. It's not meant to be taken seriously, and it just puts a huge smile on my face every time I look at it. In fact, I actually think there's got to be one of the most fun watches you can buy, or should I say, can't buy. It's right up there with the collaboration between Second Second and Spinnaker, that 50 Phantoms, which has been a huge hit. For me, this is exactly what a fun watch should be. Inexpensive, well-made and available to buy online. Well, maybe it doesn't tick that last box. But certainly not a boutique-only watch, 
where you've got to travel miles and queue up and risk being assaulted by scalpers. Squatch group, I'm looking at you. But guys, I know this one is going to divide opinions, and I'd love to know what you think, so do drop me a comment down below. And I'd love to know if you've got any fun, quirky watches in your collection. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like so other people will find it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please smash that subscribe button now. And guys, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.